So let's take a, an example here of how the value can change like magic when a tenant comes in. So here's an empty building with no tenant. Maybe this building would sell for 400,000. That would be based on what do the other empty buildings sell for? If in that geographic area, the other empty buildings sell for, you know, here's one that sold for 500, here's one that sold for 300, maybe this one would sell for 400, 400,000, for example. So now let's imagine that you have the good fortune to bring in Dollar General. Imagine that Dollar General comes in and says, well, just say at first, before Dollar General, let's say you find a company, maybe a plumbing company. So not Dollar General, but you find a plumber that needs a lot of space and he's got trucks and he's got 15 or 20 employees and uh, he wants this building. Maybe he says, I'll pay you 10,000 a month, lease it to me. And, and if a person does that, now they've got a 15 year lease that pays 10,000 per month. So now the value of that building, once it becomes leased, has doubled. Maybe it's an 800,000 building now, since now the owner of the building is entitled to receive 120,000 a year in income, potentially, if the plumbing business doesn't fail. So that is what can really move the value. But now imagine you hit a home run. Imagine that everything lines up in the universe the way that you like it. You love it. Let's just say you love it. And Dollar General with their people in suits, they show up and they say, we want this area. We're going to open a store here. We'd like to lease it. If Dollar General leases that same building, now look closely, because this is a little important thing that most people don't understand, and I'm going to show you. Dollar General shows that they'll pay $10,000 a month. Now, hang on a minute. The value went to 1.6 million. When you had the plumbing company, it was paying 10,000 a month, but the value was only 800,000. That doesn't make any sense because they're both paying the same rent. How can the, well, there's a very good reason. Plumbing businesses have a real often habit of failing. Maybe the plumbing business will fail. So that's priced into the cap rate. This is a higher cap rate. So the plumbing business has a higher cap rate, but Dollar General, which is a strong, powerful company, it has a low cap rate. So that is why you can have a lease that pays the exact same amount of rent. And one of the leases will uh, say 10,000 a month, but the tenant backing that rent is a plumber. So it's not the same as Dollar General Corporate. Dollar General Corporate has 20,000 stores throughout the United States. They've got, they're doing billions of dollars in sales. So if Dollar General Corporate signs that lease and says they're going to pay 10,000 a month, you can bet that they're going to pay $10,000 a month. If Joe Plummer says he's going to pay you $10,000 a month, He'll pay you $10,000 a month until something happens. Maybe he goes through a divorce. Maybe he gets on drugs. We don't know. Whatever it is that happens, that can. So that's why you see that difference. So that's real, real.